Hey, welcome back, friends. Episode two of What's in the Shop. Got JC today is going to take us through this Winnebago Aspects, getting a nice suspension upgrade, shocks all the way around, steering stabilizer, uh, freshening up the bags. The bags are dry rotted. He's putting some fresh bags on it. Should be a lot of fun, very educational. Stay tuned. <laughs> round 36 <laughs> all right guys you guys remember jc from the first episode of what's in the shop and uh we're just he's just gonna take us through this nice suspension upgrade we're back here in the back obviously with the uh, shock upgrade and the bags jc i'm gonna let you take it away man yeah so basically what we do is we just upgrade from a factory ford shock this is a ford chassis it comes with ford shocks um we upgrade to a coney we highly recommend coney's they are adjustable conies they do um ride either softer or stiffer or you can make it a firm just depends um how you like it um basically the customer comes in and says that they want a little bit better ride well the first thing to go is going to be the shocks so we put conies on um there was airbags on the motor home previously um once i put air to them i realized there was a lot of dry rot cracking and stuff in them so instead of just doing the shocks and leaving the dry rotted airbags we're going to go ahead and put airbags on the rear um now you were we were talking about the bags the bags didn't come from the factory with this unit they were upgraded earlier yes um okay. and not by us by someone else um they put airbags on it i really like the sumos because they're maintenance free you don't have to worry about the dry rot stuff like this um you don't have to worry about the air pressure going down the road um onboard compressor would be the way to go but it's not very budget friendly so replacing airbags with a um remote yeah, airline can, you can see the little airline here that's where they would access and right and uh and adjust their bags there yes in the wheel well so a compressor is more ideal but it's a lot more expensive so um you know putting the bags on sumos maintenance free um, you set them to 30% and it rides 100% better. Right. Um, so that's more of an ideal setup. However, on this particular one, the wheel spacing from the outside of the frame to the inside of the wheel is not seven and a half inches. So with it not being seven and a half inches, the Sumo will not fit there without actually compressing the tire going down the road and hitting the side of the Sumo. So we're not able to use Sumos. That's why I'm going to replace the airbags for the customer. I got you. Yes. So I don't know the answer to this question. Are these conies available for trucks in a shock? Now, I know we talked about a steering stabilizer already. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But are these shocks available for trucks, and would you recommend them? Yes. These conies are available for anything, basically. Um, you can go on Coney's website. You can go to Super Steer, which is Henderson's, um, and they have all kind of stuff. They have a, a year making model guide that you can go by, okay. um, and you can find all kind of stuff. They make you know steering dampeners, Coney's. Um, Super Steer also makes uh, sway bars, track bars. Um, they have a little bit of sumo springs on there. You can put sumos on the back of your truck for towing a camper or something right. as long as the lines is that as well. Right. Okay, cool. So I'll, I will, uh, I'll link that in the description box below the Coney's. I don't have any personal experience with them, so I don't recommend them. I can't recommend them, but JC does, and he seems to like them. So I, that's very interesting that they're adjustable. So kind of like a mattress, you perform firm, soft, supportive, whatever you want to call it. But uh, it's nice that they're adjustable. If, if I didn't have a lifted truck, I'd have Coney's on it. Really? Okay. Yes. If my truck was not lifted, I would honestly have conies on them. That's awesome to know. Yes. So I'm behind the mic, so it may be a little hard to hear, but we're going to show you the new set of bags here. And uh, when you inflate these, you got some significant dry rot. I guess it's that would that be how you would inspect them was when they were inflated? Yes. When you put air to them, that's normally when you can see. You have to put air to them to spray them to check for leaks anyhow around the fittings and stuff. Right. And a lot of times, if you spray the whole bag, you'll see little bitty pinholes of leaks. And that's normally a dry rock crack that has already formed. Okay, and that's what these were either starting to form or had already formed. Yes. Let's go take a look at the new bags. You want to? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so I want you guys to see the difference between Firestones on the right and Sumos on the left. Now, I don't have any experience with airbags at all, but JC certainly does, and he's just going to kind of take it away on why. We kind of went over when we were under the rig, but why didn't we replace with Sumos instead of these? Well, go ahead, JC. So basically the airbags, you know, they're great, but they build moisture because of air. 
um, there is an air fitting. There's no way to drain an airbag besides deplete the air. Well, when you deplete the air, all the water and moisture that's on the side goes to the bottom. So a lot of times what you see is down towards the bottom, it always tends to have more dry rot cracks around the bottom than anywhere else. Well, that's because that's where all the water's sitting and it's eating the bag. Makes sense. Um, instead of going back with a airbag, I would highly recommend going back with a sumo spring, which is this. Um, it's 100% silicone. You can adjust this to make your ride height where you want it. If you're getting a lot of, you know, um, swerving in the front end or something, uh, yeah. tail wag, stuff like that, I can adjust it normally out of the sumo. Um, but there again, like I said earlier, you have to have seven and a half inches from here to the inside of the tire in order for it to clear whenever the tire hits a bump and the sidewall comes out. Right. So once that happens, it always intends to rub here on the side of the sumo you'll blow out a tire that's not what we want right but um if this sumo ever started giving us issues where the springs start sagging or something you can come in here and cut a section of the sumo out um and make it adjustable to however you want it so that's why i prefer a sumo any day over an airbag maintenance free is cheap Right. Something you have to maintain every two years gets pretty pricey when right. they're two hundred dollar airbags every time plus labor. So. And the owner wanted sumos, but like you said, we didn't have the clearance, so we got to go back to what they had. Correct. And like I said, this, this is actually for that motorhome. Um, this is what they say fits it. Um, all of them are built differently, so it just so happens that this one does not have the right amount of clearance to fit on this application. Yes. So we're having to go back with a factory airbag, right. which is better than nothing. Better than nothing. Yep. All right, guys, we also mentioned a steering stabilizer upgrade. JC, take it away, man. Tell us what we got here. So this is a steering stabilizer. The Fords do come factory with a steering stabilizer, um, and they have no resistance on the shock itself. So the steering wheel basically free falls. So we put a steering stabilizer, which is a Safety Plus, on it, um, and it so has So this is called a Safety Plus brand, Yes, right? Safety okay. Plus brand. All right. Um, and it has pressure both ways. Um, it's a blowout feature um, as well. It does offer, if you do have a blowout, it will go into lockout. Right. And it won't allow you to lose control of it. Okay. So once you have a blowout or you're driving and you let go of the steering wheel, you go off the road, you will be able to regain where you left off pretty fast and you won't end up flipping the motorhome. Right, right. So basically you can offer safety pluses for trucks, cars, you name it. They make them for all different kind of things. You just got to see if they're applicated. Um, but if you own a motorhome, normally you know what it is because you got to have it to keep it between the lines. Right. Well, uh, the reason I thought this was interesting is because we, you can do a lot of these upgrades to your tow vehicle, your truck. So, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll also link that in the description, uh, safety plus steering stable engine. All right, guys, here's the uh, the Coney shocks up front in this uh, Ford chassis motorhome. And I just got to say, I think it's awesome that they're gold. I told uh, I told JC we're riding dirty here with the gold shocks. <laughs> well, the black blends in. Gold actually kind of sticks out. You right. know, it, it just looks cool. Right. Why don't you, uh, well, we, they do an RPA here. What's that? Road, what do you call Road it? performance assessment. Okay, yeah, let's go talk. take a look and see what you guys assess when you're uh, when you're doing one of those all right guys this is something pretty cool they do here at Appalachia is a road performance assessment it's hard for me to say that i don't know why but uh, yeah jc go over what you guys uh take a look at when you're doing one of these you do an actual ride along or you actually hop in the rv and take off right yeah so i like when the customer comes and sits down with me uh right here i put the customer concerns uh tell me what's bad about it tell me what it's doing tell me what you don't like about it and let me see if i can fix it so then i'll bring it in the shop i'll weigh it left front right front the rear um doesn't matter if you have a tag axle we could do it all we have all the scales to weigh it um we measure the overhang up here at the top, uh, rear overhang wheelbase plus the overhang percentage. Um, the overhang percentage is 90% of the issue, and if we can get the weight transferred off the rear to the front to get more on your steer tires, normally we can get anything to happen out of that. Right. Um, then I'll go drive it right here. It says before um, the play, returnability, steering wheel, pull, um, harsh ride, wandering, steering, Bounce, vibration, noise, brakes, tail wag, lane change, tire wear, and ride height. Um, he didn't I, like to say porpoising, but I'll say it for him. Right, I, I can't say that word, por porpoising. <laughs> I can say a lot of things, but I can't say I've some of them. I've got to say, I've got 
problem with <laughs> words too much. So I'll go drive it before, and that's why there's two columns. There's a before column and an after on all these. I'll go drive it um, and see what it does. Before I drive it as well, I go through the back of this. Um, one is good, two is marginal, three is poor, and U is upgrade. Um, and I'll go through and up, uh, I'm sorry, I will go through and grade your motorhome suspension based off of what it has before I do anything to it. Um, down here at the bottom, I'll put little notes. If you have a factory sway bar, factory track bar, doesn't matter what it is. I will go through and, you know, say little side notes for me to know. Um, and I will go and let you know what's offered for your motor home. And I'm not looking to upsell on anything. I'm looking to fix what you have. Right. Um, so that's normally what this sheet is here for. It fixes what you have. Um, and then we fix it and then we start going upgrades. But let's fix the issue before we start upgrading and throwing other stuff at it. Gotcha. Yes, sir. All right, guys, just a quick recap of this video. JC, take it away. Tell us why, once again, why are we putting bags on this motorhome? Why are we replacing and why are they important? So basically the rear airbags are to get the rear end up to transfer some weight off the rear axle to the front axle so you have more control over the steering wheel. Right. Um, so it's not real free. So once you do that, um, get the weight transferred, upgrade the shock so it rides better. You don't hit all the bumps. You don't feel all the bumps in the road. You get way better ride quality. You put the safety plus on it. Um, so That's the steer stabilizer. The steering stabilizer, yeah. yes, the safety plus. Um, so when you turn, it returns back to center. Um, it also uh, helps pass an 18 wheelers. It right. doesn't blow you off the road. It lets you maintain the lane that you're in. Right. Um, and it's a blowout feature. Um, that's really a safety feature. Um, that's the best thing. That's the most important thing about a safety plus is the safety feature of the blowouts. Right. And I know we have limited class C crowd, but uh, for trucks, now we reached out to a part supplier and the Coney shocks are available on 250s up to 2014. Uh, they may be working on later models. And then the steering stabilizers, were they available? Yes. Yes, they're yes. available uh, for most years. And then also the Sumo Springs are available as well. Yes. Uh, we may actually do, I'm, I'm interested in some of that stuff. So I'm not, I'm not going to commit to it right now, but uh, may be interested in doing some of that for the tow vehicle. Well, JC, appreciate yeah. it, man. Yeah. And if I appreciate have, your knowledge. Yeah, man. And if you have any questions on what you need to, you know, make your truck pull better, make your camper ride better, you know, steer better, whatever, you know, reach out to us. Let us know what you think, what you're having issues with. And if I can help you over the phone or whatever, I, you know, I have a cell phone number here. Um, you can call directly here to us here um, and I'll do what I can do to help you. Sounds great. And I'll link all that in the description box below. Guys, I hope you found this useful. If so, consider subscribing. See ya.